Hello everyone. Today I have a different uh, project, not so different because uh, uh, I make jewelry and I make, I love to craft, but I've been off of it for some time now. <laughs> I've been busy, but anyway, I was home and I uh, went to my stash and um, found what I had started doing. I mean, if you see uh, on my channel, I have where I uh, showcase my uh, wire wrap uh, earrings. And uh, yeah, I just showed it. I didn't talk about it and how I make them. I've made uh, different kinds and yeah, in the past. So anyway. I uh, had bought this little um, gadget, you know, it's helpful for uh, beading actually because uh, beading is one of the things I do and I beaded a couple um, necklaces and earrings and uh, that but I just had packed it away so today i said let me make i've actually been working on it for the past two days and i haven't assembled like you seen i already have threaded some but anyway probably you guys watched up about how to use this and um <clears throat> how to uh, thread beads and all that but i just wanted to show you the how I'm making my necklace you know simple but very very elegant anybody can do it it's really easy even if you are a beginner you just thread the beads and make a necklace I'm gonna show you I got a couple um, findings in here and I have some beads I got some number six for this kind of project i usually would use <clears throat> number eight to six because you know they are a little bit bigger smaller in the middle not number 10 will be very big maybe probably big and uh, you can use whatever beads you want whatever size you have but with the one i'm making probably number if you stick with number six or number eight or Preferably maybe number the smallest will be number probably number 11, 15 will be too small, but it will look good except you just have to increase the strands. When I've been using my strands like five or six strands and uh, what you do is like it, it doesn't matter the length is up to you, but I'm using my length like um, for the fourth strand for um, four strands i'm using i got three the same length and then one a little bit uh, like two inches or two or two centimeters more than the other three so then it will look a little bit detailed so i'm going to show you how just i use this little i like it it's quick than just using the thread and needle but you can use whatever you want is uh each one's preference man so you know i am um, well i measure my um thread usually i'm using this the clock the cotton clock is 100 percent cotton and it's really strong i like it triple it triple it to three strands and it really gets so strong you can use again you can use whatever strand you use as long as you sure it's not gonna break or it's not gonna it will work for you you can't say just use what because every thread work so and then i know you guys know you have to tie a knot so the beads will not fall off you tie a little knot everyone knows how to tie a knot you just and tie a knot bigger than the eye of the of your bead, whatever you want. And here we go. I'm gonna just show you a little bit of um, <clears throat> how this works. I know you've seen it before, but I'm just 
gonna see show you how I am um, I'm doing it then I'll try to assemble one of these into a necklace like I said it's no there's nothing to that any anybody can make it and um so yeah I have this uh you know the, this little gadget comes with a threading needle actually let me remove the this protective cover for safety and this is it I usually thread this little where you thread the eye up here so because sometimes I really don't see or it becomes difficult for me to see the eye is really small I use the threader you know there's the, these threaders you can buy them anywhere Joan fabrics or somewhere where you thread and pull pull the thread back so yeah and I'm gonna start my little machine I already put these beads I'm not gonna use this these are like size 11 they are small and probably you may need a lot of it to make um, what you need so this thing has like a back and forth it depends on where it's going so I need it to go to the right because I'm sitting I'm right-handed and uh, you know you just yeah. Yeah, the, uh, yeah see that it threads for you I don't know if you can see what's happening. Just hold that and try to either put it underneath or like about on top. Or maybe, I don't know, let me reduce the speed because it's really like too high. It has like three seconds of speed. Yeah. See? I got some thread some beads there just like that it's quicker to thread probably you guys have seen people on YouTube or making beads this and that but you can beads are like a very nice ornament to wear you can make earrings you can make necklaces whatever you want with it or rings bracelet with it but the only thing is guys as you know those who make is so addictive <laughs> it is really therapeutic too so um yeah so this is how just make sure like i said you can use how many strands you like or you want to look already maybe i'm already halfway yeah so i'm gonna show you now um how i'm gonna stop this yeah to find my um uh, my clasp this one is called the twist clasp that's what works this one the one you can you know i know i buy some from etsy or anywhere you can just google and find one of these this is what you're gonna use and i already um threaded some of this and after you finish you gotta when you make your like the one my mine one is the three of them are 35 inches or 92 centimeters and then the other one is like two inches or two centimeters over so it's like 37 and 90 90 94 that's what I, I did for me but you can do whatever you want as long as you make one of them one strand should be more than uh, like longer than a little bit longer so yeah and I already tied them I was just about to assemble 
you know i got this one i put a little you know you can do what you want i put a little um like a accessory or whatever you call it that's my one of my initials just so i can it can be there i, I like it and you can do anything you want to that you can put a like a, a pendant on it or that so anyway these are my four i already made i got red blue yeah and these beads are like uh, eight uh, yeah so these are my four where's my other one i got other one with the, with the red one here i have my four strands so you know i already tied them up so what you do you know i already tie them the other one is longer than the other one let's see remove this little piece i was tying well i don't know yeah, i'll remove later i just want to show you so this other one is longer than the, th the three see the other one is a little bit longer than the other three i don't know if you can see um like that four and then what you do is you just get this um cross 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 what is called and you hook it like all of them together close it or oh, and yeah you close it and then you just twist it no i'm twisting it that's why the other one is like uh, trying to be longer, this other one. But as you twist, it's going to just see that you twist it. I'm twisting it. My fingers, you see, I'm twisting it. So however you want to twist, when you see the how you like it, or maybe the sometimes you can... Uh, twist it looser or you can twist it more tighter you know just make sure it's all twisted and the other one the longer one is even now see that it's beautiful and if you have more colors it's really 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 beautiful i like it and then now what you do is you open so here when you're done here this is uh, when when you have if you wanna put a pendant or whatever you call it like to a drop or something you put it up here or on one of the beads but I like it tighter like this because I make it like a choker so now after you do the twisting makes this twisted together then you gotta open when you wear it you open up and this is how you wear it behind your neck see that that's my necklace it's beautiful and I'm gonna make the matching earrings too so yeah let me wear it maybe see how it's gonna look like on me see yeah that's it there's nothing to that just thread four five you want six make sure two are longer than the other four if you want three however many you want and just roll it use the the twisted clasp and that's about it so tell me if you like it or if you want to make one and uh, show me what colors you are using and how it's gonna look like and thank you so much for watching bye